It's Sway in the Morning. Broadcasting live from Minneapolis on Shade 45. Yo, Minneapolis, make some noise! All right, Twin Cities, make some noise. Twin Cities, where y'all at? Twin Cities, make some noise! All right, uh, we were going to get into the cipher, which we will, but one of the most important citizens of this area just walked in. And, and before we bring him up, I want to ask my, my, my wonderful, magnificent, amazing daughter uh, to share some words with you. She's very active. She's very um, boots on the ground when it comes to activism and really trying to uplift the community and showing people how to empower themselves to do so. Give it up for the one and only Kiyomi, a.k.a. Yomi Calloway. Yeah, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Go, go, go to the front of the <laughs> Go to face, yeah, your, face your family, Kiyomi. Say what up to him. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to talk about the importance of voting. This election coming up is really important, and you may feel like your voice doesn't matter or your vote doesn't matter, but it does. Registering people to vote is so important, and we do that at my school. We go door to door regardless of your political affiliation. I go to NYU, which is New York University. So I just want you guys to know that your voice matters and your vote matters, and don't let these things that are trying to block us from voting get in your way make sure you make sure you get to the polls there's a reason why they don't want you to vote so always remember that and um just as a representation of making sure you know that your voice matters right now we have the mayor of saint paul um he is one of the first african-american the first african-american um uh, mayors in St. Paul. Um, <laughs> he went to FAMU, which is an HVCU represent. <laughs> he served in the city council, has a track record of continuously fighting for our people. So I want you guys to give a big round of applause for Maverick Carter, please, as he comes up to the stage. Mr. Melvin Carter, ladies and gentlemen. Melvin Carter, Melvin Carter. <laughs> Yeah, you might Give it up for that was beautiful. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, right. Sway up here crying, y'all. Yeah, y'all sway I can't believe that. his <laughs> daughter gave that nice <laughs> right. intro. Yo, hug me, Melvin. That's right. a sway yeah. intro. And Kiyomi right. nailed the sway up here crying. Look, Send him some tissue, boy. Look, I was about to call her Naomi because that's my daughter's name. Oh, <laughs> I was wow. like, that was beautiful, wow. Kiyomi, man. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, that's love. Man, I appreciate only, you guys she, having me on here, man. She's only 20 years of age, Mr. Carter. You know, um, turn turn this one up. Hey, uh, give this man a round of applause. You know, he. Yes, sir, I appreciate that. Um, you know, last year you came here as well. Yep. And we, we talked about the current state of things in the Twin Cities and yep. equality and, and the economy and uh, what's going on um, in politics. We, uh, we talked about morality we, and we talked about politics. Right now, what are some of the biggest issues that this area face and what are you doing about? about it in, in St. Paul. Look, right now, hands down, disparities are the biggest issue that we face. Pro poverty, people in our community who just can't get ahead no matter what. Yeah. We always talk about the fact that so many people in our community, I got a mentor who always says, uh, ends up with too much month left at the end of their money, yeah. over and over and over again. And so we're trying to eliminate poverty in our community. We're trying to eliminate disparities. I'll tell you, thank you, I appreciate that. We've been, I've been mayor for a year and a half now. Uh -huh. uh, we've raised the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Give a big round of applause for that, you get more money. That's right. Okay. That's right. We've tripled the free programs in our rec centers for our young people. Give we, a round of applause for that. I appreciate that. Amen. We eliminated late fees in our libraries so our libraries can work for everybody in our community. <laughs> late fees? <Wow. laughs> yeah. In the library? We got rid of them. You know this? Look, wow. we used to think libraries, late fees make people bring books back. It's not true. Late, late fees make people stay away from the library absolutely, for years. Absolutely, absolutely. And so we, we just want to make sure everybody can use our library. How long have you been mayor here? A year and a half. You know wow. what's interesting, and, and that's what I thought. So when we were here when you were running for mayor. Yes, ma'am. I remember when you came on the show, and I remember the promises or commitments that you yep. said and your vision that you wanted to do for the city. And it's such a blessing to hear that you actually got these things accomplished. Yes, Absolutely. So I just want to salute you to I say thank that. you so much for everything. You had a commitment and you followed that. through. And to Woo! the people here, obviously, they believed in you. 
They voted for you and they spread the word about you. So thank you so much for everything because I remember you first coming yep, here. So salute right. to you. Well, and I'll tell you, you know, we have love, we have a lot of support, man, and we wouldn't be able to do it without, and to, to your point, Kiyomi, we wouldn't be able to do it without all the support that, and people plugging into this work. Mm -hmm. And so we've built a big vision for our community. One of the biggest things we're doing is, you know, people always say the big job of a mayor is to build the economy and, you know, grow the economy. And everybody's looking for businesses from outside the community to come and move in. Meanwhile, we have all these people in our community who are looking for jobs, who could be like producing in our local economy. So we're excited about our Office of Financial Empowerment. We're saying, you know what? We need to help people make their money work for them right here in our community, right not just find some money from somewhere else. Yeah. So the most exciting thing that we're doing, and I'm excited about this, watch for this. The most exciting thing we're doing right now is what we call college savings accounts. We have a vision and a plan in St. Paul to put $50 in the bank to start every child born in our city on the pathway to college from birth. Wow. Oh, man, give a round of applause. That's, that's love amazing. It. That's amazing. Like, love it. don't sleep on that. That's yeah. amazing. They invest more money in the pathway to prison system, so they're doing it differently. Give it up for this mayor yeah. right here. Wow. I appreciate you. Absolutely, man. Yeah. What you have to know is we spend, we spend billions of dollars in this country to mm -hmm. eliminate poverty, yeah. right? But most of that money goes to people who already have money. You know, whether it's a developer or a bank or a big business or something like that. Mm -hmm. So when we say we're going to put $50 in investing in our young people going to college, when we say we're going to raise the minimum wage, when we say we're going to invest in housing or we're going to help people raise their credit scores, we're helping people on Main Street and just saying wow. it's got to be in the neighborhood. That's that dope. Is. Yeah, Melvin Carter. I love everything I'm hearing, Mayor Melvin. Um, because you're in such a high position that a lot of people would never have wanted to see our skin color in these yep. type of roles, do you still experience pushback from folks like racism people just trying to create roadblocks like do you need more security now like what is it now that you're in the spotlight with this title as mayor <laughs> well i appreciate that uh, and you know you're always going to face those roadblocks my parents taught me the best way to know you ain't doing nothing is if nobody's mad about it and so <laughs> yeah. yo that's, you know, so, that's real drop a gem on them and so you know yeah we need all of that you know and I, you, you mentioned security I gotta give a shout out to Benny Williams who's uh, handled my details since I got okay. elected he just passed last week and so oh. we're sad you know he just uh, just like surprisingly very unexpectedly passed but a member of the family and a loved one so you know my office misses him my kids miss him I miss him like crazy just dreamt about him last night so I wow. couldn't give I couldn't let the past you asked about security without giving him a shout out Absolutely. Absolutely. How many God people bless. from St. Paul are here? Raise your hand. Is St. Paul in the house? Okay. So you see this guy right here up front? Yeah. You see Cam right here? Make oh, yeah. noise, St. Paul. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember you. They're, they're, they're your new security now. That's what's up. Y'all going to protect That's this mayor? Yeah. I need y'all. <laughs> okay. All I right. like that, Sway. All right. And then to Kiyomi's point, there are a lot of roadblocks. There are a lot of distractions. There are a lot of means and measures to keep people from thinking their vote matter, That's right. uh, to discourage them from actually going to the polls, you know, to uh, uh, derail them uh, from showing up. And, you know, what, what is your message to the citizens here about voting and its importance? Yeah, it's exactly what Kiyomi said, man. It's absolutely critical. When I tell you, like, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be in this spot if it wasn't for people kind of stepping forward, right? People looked at us and said, you don't even have a chance to be able to do this, let alone get the stuff accomplished that we've done, just getting in the office in the first place. And so if people didn't stand up for us, we wouldn't be able to do all of these things. But it's got to be much more than just voting, because let me tell you, the fact that we've been able to accomplish everything that we have in the past year and a half hasn't, hasn't been just because people voted on a day almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's because people keep getting involved with us. We have this style of governance that we believe even in St. Paul, that means we got to bring people into the process. Every decision that's ever been made in the history of humankind has been made to benefit the decision maker, right? Yes. So our job is to just expand the universe of decision makers. So, you know, Keith Ellison, who's our, who's our attorney general, always says, if you're not at the table, you're probably on the menu. So our, whoa, whoa, whoa. That? our thing is Drop be at the table with us. You hear that horse? You ain't at the table. You're probably on the menu. That's right. And them niggas is hungry. Mayor, <laughs> Mayor Carter. <laughs> Mayor Carter, I appreciate you stepping on the stage today. I appreciate your support of us. We'll always support you. Man, I appreciate you being here, man. Give it up for the man right here, man. <laughs> Heather B, man. It's good to have y'all here. We love having y'all in Minnesota, man. Every Thank single you. time we want to lay it out, and we appreciate you putting us on the map. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Hey, Mayor Carter. That Mayor Carter, people want to reach you on social. Hey, I know Mr. you hit them back Carter. direct. How can they, all, day. all these people want to get at you on social. How can they? All day. Check me out at Mayor Carter underscore. 
Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> check me out at Mir Carter underscore on all the channels, man. Talk I, your I love y'all. Follow Mr. us Carter. and work with us. Give it up for Talk me. That's what's up. Shit.